guys, this is Christian, and welcome to Love Bound, the podcast where we talk about love and relationships. Uh, I've been getting some really good emails from you guys, and it really is an honor um, just to stay in touch with you and hear about your journeys and some of the struggles that you have and are currently and have been going through. So keep sending emails. It's really exciting for me to just stay in touch with you and uh, to, to communicate. Uh, so there's been quite a few... Uh, of you out there that seems to be struggling just with being single like you've been hoping to find that right person for so long and you've gone through disappointment I mean some of you are 40 years old watching this and still haven't found that right person um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about just what to do right now when you're single because like I said last time it really is a blessing to be single there's so many things that you can do and I, honestly, if you're not happy being single, you're not going to be happy being married. Married is not your ticket to happiness because happiness is an inside job. And uh, marriage really is about giving rather than receiving. You're not going to be just completely fulfilled once you get married because no other person can make you happy and fulfilled. The only one who can do that is God. So you really need to make sure that you are happy and feel good about yourself while, while you're still single. Um, because I don't think, I mean, longing for marriage should not be this painful, like desperate longing. It should be a hopeful expectation. Like you're, you're having this just exciting feeling on the inside that something good is about to happen. And, and if you can maintain that, um, and that's awesome. Uh, it's so much better than just being desperate. Uh, so if you're not, if you're feeling very just lonely and feel unhappy, then go to God, you know, be honest with it. Just tell him exactly how you feel and pour your heart out to him. I mean, he really is the answer to all of that stuff. And maybe some of you just need to break. Maybe you just need to spend a little bit less time obsessing about marriage. I mean, I, I know that you have a desire and that's great, but there are so many other things that you can do. Spend time just um, following your passions, following your dreams. You can really do that in, in such a free way when you're single. Um, so maybe, I mean, maybe there's an instrument you want to learn. Maybe you want to travel to that country. You know, take the opportunity to do those things, whatever is on your heart and that you feel God is leading you to do. Uh, it's so much better than sitting at home just moping and and as you do that and not focusing so much on finding that right person I think those times are some of the best times where you can actually find the one you know the, the people that I think have some of the greatest marriages are those that didn't expect um, to meet that person but when they did it, it was just it was just right uh, you know the Bible says Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. So just spend time delighting yourself in Him, and just enjoying life. And He, He's the one who's going to give you the desires that you long for, because He created those desires anyway. So that's, uh, that's it for today, and look forward to next episode. Um, just send me emails, keep uh, staying in touch, I love it, and I'll see you guys next time.